Hello, hello. Welcome, everybody. We've had some technical difficulty on tonight because we are always prompt and on time. Praise God. But we are here and we're just waiting for the others to come in. But good morning, good afternoon, good evening or good night. Whatever time zone you're viewing us from, we say welcome to you. We're here celebrating Black Women Empowered 10th year celebration. Somebody help us celebrate right where you are. Praise God. I'm, I'm, I'm happy. I see so many of you. I see some first timers that's on here. Welcome. I know it won't be your last time. I know it will not. You're going to be here with us. Um, you're going to come back again and you will be blessed. Indeed. So as you're coming in, let us know where you're coming from, where you're viewing from, and um, we're going to get ready to get started in just a moment. I know Bishop Smart is already, he's in the, as we would say, the back room waiting to come to come in. Um, he's on. We're waiting for uh, Bishop Whitaker to be, a, uh, be with us tonight. Blessings to you. I see you all from Florida and and another first timer. Yes, welcome to all our first timers. California, we see people just viewing from everywhere. Praise God. Knightsdale, I know where Knightsdale, North Carolina is. Um, and here in Georgia, where we are, Baton Rouge, God bless you. Thank you, thank you, thank you for being a part of Black Women in Power. Yes, we can. Um, someone's already asking for the Cash App. I'm going to help you out with that. I'm going to go ahead and put it on the screen. Thank you. I'm going to put it on the screen. Those that want to put the seed in early. Yes. Yes. Thank you. There is the cash app there. Um, somebody's already asking. Thank you, Allison, for sowing. This is our 10th year. <clears throat> and we're excited about sowing into good ground. All right. This is good ground to sow in. This, this ministry is helping uh, so many different people. It's helped people in the past, and we're going to continue that flow and continue to help people. You're so welcome, Allison. I hope you have it. We're getting ready to move forward. I'm going to bring in um, Bishop Smart. Amen. There he be. Hello. Right. hello. How are you? God bless you, Pastor. I'm good. How are you? I'm doing well, doing well. Awesome. Um, awesome. <laughs> and Bishop Whitaker is still having um, a problem. Can you just shoot him? Yes, <laughs> I'm going to make sure he's he's in. <laughs> Amen. Make sure he's good. Amen. Again, <laughs> if you have prayer requests tonight, you can submit your prayer requests. Also, the website is uh, on the screen, blackwomenempower.org. You can have an opportunity to go and see who we are. All of our first timers and you want to know who we are, you have a chance to go and visit that website and see who we are. All right. So we're going to get ready to get started. How many viewed last night? Let me see how many was on with us last night. If you can do a raise hand or say me too. And you can uh, see that we are very intentional about this platform. We're very intentional about it. And we're here again tonight is to bring encouragement and just have some worship. Just hang out with us for a few moments, okay? Hang out with us for a few minutes. And I promise you, we're going to have a great time. Absolutely. Let me open. Yes, we are. We're going to have a great time. We're going to talk and we're going to share in the word. Praise God. Um, has for us. I'm telling you, we had some technical trouble tonight. My I Lord. mean, I, I mean, <laughs> and, and <clears throat> it's what's crazy about it. What's crazy about it is the uh, the links that we use work all the time. We have no <laughs> issues. We're familiar with all the platforms. That's not the issue. Um, the platforms that it would normally work on, it did not work on. So we know that something great is going to happen tonight. <clears throat> so, um, we're going to get Bishop Absolutely. in here in a minute. We're still having some yes, we are. technical issues with him, but we're going to get him in in a moment. Right. I'm going to, let me see if I can send it, um, share it again. Let's do it this way. 
How about that? Amen. Talk to us, Bishop Smart. Yeah, I was just going to say, let me let me look in the comments and say, God bless you to everybody. Uh, shout out to Dr. King. Uh, we celebrate this great woman of God, and we appreciate all of you that have joined us tonight. I'm excited because whenever the enemy uh, tries to, to fight and endeavor, it is because there is something that God wants to say. And I believe God wants to say something significant to the people of God, even as we celebrate uh, on this uh, this weekend. We are celebrating 10 years. And Bishop Whitaker said uh, last night he talked about <clears throat> 10 being the number of uh, new cycles, uh, 10 being <clears throat> a number of new cycles. And I, I believe that's a powerful, powerful revelation and insight so that uh, uh, the people of God can glean and take from this. There he is, <clears throat> there he is, there he is. Hey family. Hello, hello. <laughs> I, was, I, was just, I was just telling the saints that uh, how you mentioned 10 being the number of uh, the beginning of new cycles. <clears throat> and it, is, it really speaks to the ending of one thing and the starting of something else. Yes, and sir. I have been on this 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 kick with grace for well over a year now. And, wow. and God revealed to me about grace. And I know we jumping in here already, but go ahead, God go ahead. Ahead about grace, that grace is the conjunction of the spirit and that grace uh, puts a comma where the enemy tried to put a period. So grace start, mm. started some things and stop something. So there were some things that tried to continue in our life uh, that grace said we're not going to allow. But there are some things wow. that the enemy's wow. trying to stop in our life that grace says it's going to happen no matter what. So tonight, I want everybody to get your heart ready. I am confident. I am, uh, uh, I am convinced. Amen. I am persuaded that tonight is a special night. And tonight, Hallelujah. there are going to be new new cycles, new beginnings. I want somebody to just put that in the comment section real quick. New beginnings, new, new beginnings. beginnings. Yes. Um, and we are not we are not deterred by yeah. um, <laughs> by mishaps and, and all of those things uh, because we know how the enemy works. But we yes, also sir. know uh, who our Father is. So Absolutely. tonight, we're excited about it. And I want you to put, I see you. I see you putting it in there now. Yes. New beginnings, new beginnings, new, beginnings. Uh, new cycles, uh, new, new, new doors, new windows. Uh, there's just so many things that God is getting ready to do. And uh, I, I'm going to relinquish because I, I think I'm a little excited tonight. Uh, <laughs> I'm a little excited. I, I feel the Holy Ghost and I not the Holy Ghost. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. 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 Bishop, how are you doing? How are you Man. tonight? I'm I'm doing excellent. I, I mean, I'm I'm even more excited that the devil tried to stop this. Um, yes, sir. It, it just lets you know the impact um, that this is having and that this will have on the lives of those who are listening, and not only those who are listening to us, but it's impactful to me. I'm enjoying it. You know, I'm I yeah. you know just being amongst you know you all and, and hearing the word of God and just being encouraged. I'm, I'm enjoying it. It's giving me life. And so the devil thought that we were just going to throw in the towel and just say, well, we'll try again tomorrow. Nope. Amen. Uh, <laughs> but God, amen. We, 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 listen, we, we overcame amen, the by the blood of the lamb and the word of our testimony. Amen. Yes, and we'll still, listen, we'll still have here after the flood. Absolutely. Yes, sir. Come on. Absolutely. That thing Absolutely. resonated in my spirit all through the night, boy. <laughs> it, it, it's amazing how God can give you something so simple, but yet have such a profound effect, amen, on your spirit. You know, that Absolutely. after the flood, amen, we're still here. Amen. We're still here. And, and, and God, listen, God remembered us. Mm -hmm. That mm -hmm. part. <laughs> amen. Absolutely. So I'm, I'm excited. I'm excited uh, to be here tonight. Amen. I'm, I'm, I'm ready to roll. All right. Well, I'm going to start off tonight reading part of a testimony that we received 
on last evening. For those that are viewing, take a moment and like and share. Uh, we're getting ready. We're in here now. We're getting ready to go forth and move on. Um, Bishop Smart, he's going to bring forth some uh, music in a moment, and we're just going to flow with this and share a word. But let me share a testimony that we received on last night, one of the testimonies. And the testimony is this. I have just started following your organization on LinkedIn. And it has been such a blessing the last couple of nights of praise and worship. I have been in a dry place of depression, making bad decisions and feeling a failure for quite some time. BWE has given me hope and encouragement to press on. Although the enemy continues to try to press his way and raise his ugly head, I see a live pop up from BWE and I am renewed through wow. your love and outpouring. I pray that God continues to use you and bless you and enlarge your territory. Many people are losing hope. I cannot thank you enough for the love you share across your networks. Do you hear that testimony? Wow. Come on, people. Wow. This is why we do this. This is why we continue Absolutely. to press in because these testimonies and you have an opportunity to, to release your testimony as well, to send your testimony in. Let us know. Blackwomenempower.org. Go to the uh, connect page. Send those testimonies. We want to hear and continue to pray for you. And it's interesting. Y'all know a scripture always drop in my spirit and a very mm -hmm. familiar passage <laughs> of scripture that we have preached as preachers. When um, when Simon Peter out of Luke five and how he mm. said that he had toiled. What did he Ooh. say? Simon answered um, and said unto him, Master, we have toiled all the night and have taken <clears throat> nothing. And from that passage of scripture, the Lord began to press upon my heart to let somebody know tonight that fatigue is not final. Woo! My I'll God. With me my God. one more time. Y'all better yeah. talk back to me. Do you hear what I said? Fatigue is not final. It's not final. And we can see from this passage of scripture what fatigue is. Fatigue is that overwhelm. Do I have anybody on here tonight that have experienced extreme fatigue? You've My experienced God. the tiredness. You've experienced the exertion. Come on. Um, it's been mental. There's mental fatigue. There's a physical fatigue fatigue. All of these things will come upon you. We're in the midst of this season we've never been in before. But I want you to know fatigue is not final. There's Already some things gone, from this passage of scripture. I feel the Holy Ghost. Somebody needs to hey, know it tonight. Lord. I feel the Holy Ghost tonight. And, and when we look at this and when Simon made that statement that we have toiled all the night, we're literally getting a glimpse of the fisherman's fate. Or the fishermen, Ooh. come on, their fate, their fatigue. We're getting a glimpse. And from this, we see facts, frustrations, okay. and failure. Y'all better talk back to me. From this, we see all three of these. Just from that one verse of scripture in Luke 5 and 5. We see facts. What are facts? Something known to be true. A piece of information. Exactly. Actual uh, occurrences or events, something based on evidence. So we see their facts. We see the frustration. What is the frustration? The exhausted. Come on, they're exhausted. They have uh, cried. Come on, they have toiled all night. So they are exhausted. And we see the failure. We don't want to talk about the failures. We see the failure. They caught nothing. I got they caught nothing. Every time they release the net, and back during that time, the nets had weights on them because they had to reach a point. So when they released the weight and they brought in the weight, the weight had nothing to it. It all mm. gave them nothing in return. So they had to, re they continued to release the weight and they had to pull in the weight. They released weight, pull in mm. weight, and it brought about a fatigue. My God. Mm. But mm. isn't it just like our God? He knows. Jesus shows up when he's washing those nets. 
So mm. I understand. So you kind of put me out here because you know we fish at night. Now you're trying to do something in front of everybody. Woo. See, we fish at night. Long as I was fishing at night, and people don't know if I've already sold the fish, they just know I'm washing nets because that's what you we do. But now on, you're now. telling me to go back out <laughs> to the very place I came in from. Oh my. Talk. Please, nevertheless, I'm just talking. <laughs> no, you 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 talking you talking good, Pastor. You talking on, real good. I'm just talking. One of the things that 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 I want to say about that particular text that I found so amazing is number one. Number one, the Bible said that there were two ships Absolutely. out there, but Absolutely. he chose one. And I want everybody that's watching under the sound Ooh. of my voice to understand that God is about to choose your situation. Yes, I want sir. you to understand that God is about to choose your condition and he's about to touch you. Here's another thing that I want to bring from that is that here he is fishing and we all know that this is something that he was skilled at. And so can Absolutely. you imagine failing at something that you are skilled at doing? Failing at something that you are, watch this, called to do. Man. Here he Absolutely. is failing at fishing, but he is by profession a fisherman. A fisherman. And so yes, I yes. want to tell, I want to tell everybody, hey amen. Just because you may have had some failing moments, just because it appears that storms have overtaken you, and it looks like maybe this is not my calling, and maybe this is not my assignment. I want to submit to you, hey amen, that even though you may have failed before, I hear God saying, do it again. Do I hear the again. Lord saying, do it again. The Bible says, I love this text. This is one of my favorite texts in the whole Bible. <laughs> the Bible says, the Bible says that he tells him, launch out into the deep. In other words, in, in modern day terminology, it means it means to. Now look, look at the devil. Look at Loose the devil. Just, this, this, this froze. Uh, oh my lord! Do y'all see this? Do you see this? There he is. There you back. back. Was I gone? You, you were, were gone. gone. You told us to launch out. Go back to the launch out. He, said, he says, "Launch out into the deep." Right? Yeah. He mm -hmm. tells him to launch out into deep. In modern day vernacular, that means to go hard. Yeah. Watch this. It means it means to intensify your efforts, but watch this. Not only intensify your efforts, but do it as if you've never failed before. Mm. I, I, I'm talking to somebody, you getting ready to get fresh oil. I'm talking to somebody who's been through the storm. Hey, man, you've been through COVID. You, you buried loved ones. Talk but about God it. is getting ready to drip fresh oil from heaven. Hey, man, are you getting ready to go harder than you ever have before? To My fulfill God. your purpose, fulfill your dreams, fulfill your assignment that God has given you. Listen, I'm telling you, amen, we are in an incredible season. Amen. I tell people all the time, I'm, I'm really the comeback kid. Amen. No matter what the devil throws my way. And I know I'm talking to some people out here and even even my colleagues right here. Amen. The devil has thrown so many things at us. Amen. Listen, he's thrown. Listen, if we carry this gospel, we're going to we're going to have some intensified warfare. Come on. Amen. Absolutely. But here we are right here. Amen. Tonight. Amen. Still giving God the glory. Amen. Celebrating 10 years with DWE. Amen. Yeah. And I'm just excited about what God is doing. Amen. Absolutely. People of God, somebody ought to shout right where you are. Listen, yeah. this, this stuff is not the fatigue is not final. None of this Come stuff is not final. It, no. Fatigue is Fine. not final. It's not over. There's a process because we even see how he goes from the facts to faith. He goes from every fact for everything that is there and exercise this level of faith in what he has heard. He said, I'm doing this at your word. I'm doing this at your wow. sound. Man. I'm moving in the direction of your sound. You, you got to have people in your life in this hour that are authentic and that know the power of prayer and know the power of encouragement. Yes. When you hear 
the sound, you know how to move. Come on. You know mm -hmm. what to mm -hmm. do. You will move forward regardless of what it looks like. I know I have some witnesses here Ooh. today that when you my do God, that and when you follow through with your faith, <clears throat> there's going to be a follow up. Come on. When you follow through, my God. it's going to be a follow up. Everything. Oh God, he said, I didn't send you out. I'm going to let you come in on the ambition smart. I see you moving. You're itching over there. Come on here. There is a follow up. My when God. You follow through. We yeah. have to follow through with the. You can shout and get excited, get a prophetic word. You can get a word, but you got to follow through with this thing. So when he told them to launch out, that means I'm giving you something that you still have the ability to do. My God. It's still in you to do it. I wouldn't ask anything of you that you, you could not do. have it in you. My Jesus. <laughs> Come on. It's, 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 listen, it's like when he told the man with the withered hand, stretch forth your hand. Didn't he say it? Come on now. In other words, in other words, like you said, I'm not going to ask you to stretch if stretching is not in you. If it's not in you. Come I on feel here. like having church. Good I, 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 God. I, I, my Bishop. God, my God. You, Bishop. You are in the spirit. Just before you came on, I was about to release to the people that God had put in my spirit about the man with the withered hand. That was my Come second on, one. Come on here. <laughs> I was Come gonna on, mention that. I was gonna throw that in there. Go ahead. Yes. I, I don't even. I don't even have to to spend time on the the naysayers and those that were around and choosing to criticize whether or not Jesus should heal on the Sabbath. Absolutely. That's not my issue. Uh, that's not my concern. The only thing I'm concerned about in this particular text with the man with the withered hand is when Jesus decided to heal him, what his actions were that predicated him walking the manifestation of that healing out. Jesus told, he gave him instruction. And before I tell y'all about this instruction, let me just put this together. We have been talking about the fatigue not being final and how Jesus tells them that they have to intensify their efforts, right? Yeah, yeah. Pastor, give me those Fs again. We had, we had failure. We had, fail we had facts, facts, frustration, frustration and failure. And failure. And failure. Yes. And the facts, frustration and failure are all opportunities for your faith to be engaged. Come on, Come on now. That's Jesus, it. Jesus speaks to the man with the withered hand, the withered hand. And Thank he Bishop. says to this man, stretch out your hand. Wait yeah. a minute. This man's hand is withered and he does not have the ability to do it. Physically, he is not able to stretch out his hand. But when Jesus gives the word, when he on, speaks man. the word and says, stretch out your hand, he had to engage in a place of faith that says, even though I can't stretch out my hand, if Jesus said it, I can do it. But the revelation is this, Bishop Whitaker, the revelation is this. The man has had this hand all his life. Come on. Come on. He's had the hand yeah. all his life. So apparently Jesus is not telling him to do something that he's never done before. Absolutely. My God, Absolutely. My God. He said, my stretch God. out your hand. And by the time, I don't know when it happened, Bishop. I don't know if it happened as soon as he started. But by the time he finished. His hand was full Come and at full capacity. I told the saints, full range and full oh. restoration. <laughs> By the time he had Woo! finished stretching his hand out, he had Come had full range, full range and full restoration. And full restoration. Yeah. Somebody needs to put that in the comment section. I was getting ready to say. Full Type range. It. Full range. Full restoration. Full restoration. <laughs> Come on. Full range. Full restoration. Uh, get come on, people of God. Type that in there 
begin I, to make that declaration. Come on, Bishop Smart. Glory I, I want to name. encourage the saints as well. I want to encourage the saints as well, as well. If this is blessing you, I need you to stop right now and share it. And I need you to tag at least five people. I want you to put five people in the comment section. Put, put a person in. Put that mm -hmm. at sign and put your, your best friend in there. Put your, mm -hmm. your homie in there. Put your mm -hmm. girlfriend in there and tell them, get in here and get this word because God is blessing somebody through this time wow. in the word. Full range. I see full it. Range. Full range. Full restoration. And full restoration. Full restoration. But it's going to take faith. Mm -hmm. It's going to take faith to stretch. And faith says, even if it hurts, even if it's not comfortable, even if I'm not used to doing it. That's right. I'm going to stretch until I can. Come on. That's it. I'm, I'm going to do I'm it. Can until I can. Nevertheless. Faith says, even if, even if, even if I'm frustrated. Yes, even sir. Even if the, even if the facts are working against me. Yes, come sir. Come on now. <laughs> come on now. Because it was a reality that his hand was with us. Yes, yes it, sir. It was, a, it was a reality. Those were the facts. Yeah. Amen. But we, we listen, we moving from facts and frustration to faith Same. and restoration. Listen, Come God on. is doing something absolutely amazing. Yeah. I'm telling you, people of God, those of you who are tuned in, listen, you better tap into this anointing. Yes. Amen. You better tap into what God is doing because I'm telling you, your life is about to radically shift for the better. Hey, man, your life is about to radically change you, for the better. As a, my, my, that's what I'm hearing in the spirit right now. Oh, Amen. Man. That better is our portion. Glory yes, to God. Man, man, man. That better is what God has called us to. Better is yes. what we've been ordained to walk in. And so we don't have to settle for mediocrity. We don't have to settle, amen, for less, amen. We are the seed of Abraham. Glory yeah. be to God. And listen, I'm telling you right now, I'm just getting overwhelmingly excited <laughs> because I sense his presence. I Glory see be to God. Listen, the devil tried to stop this tonight. Mm -hmm. He mm -hmm. tried to stop it. Glory. He wanted frustration, Pastor Karen. He wanted frustration to That's cause us to say, you know what? This it's just not working. Let's let's just try again. But 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 being being who God has called us to be, we understand obstacles. Amen. You yeah. know, uh, 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 hurdles, hurdles are only designed for us to leap over. Glory Absolutely. To God. That's Amen. what they made for. So that's, that's exactly what we've done tonight. Amen. 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 I Lord. see you sharing tonight. Type yeah. shared if Thank you're sharing. You so Come on. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Uh, because people need to understand there's a place of hope. People's hope have been attacked. People expectations have been attacked. And when you can hear a word as such has been said on this broadcast tonight, it brings about shift and change. It yes. brings you into the divine alignment with your purpose and the destination that God has. And even back with the fishermen, when it closed out and the bible says what did they do in verse six and when they had done this man with the hand stretch it out and when they had done this the fishermen that went back on the boat and when they had done this what do it again and when they had done this and when they had made the adjustments necessary yes. to get a different result from what they had just experienced. Woo! And then they had done this. Yeah, Masha. Woo! Hey, Jesus. Come on. And when, this is good. where you activate your faith. You activate, make the move, make the phone call, make the ship, do what you need to do. Call that person again. They might have said no the first time, but God's going to have somebody else on the line that's going to give you a yes. Come on. Call mm. again. Do it again. Glory to his name. And when they had done this. Yeah. Make the necessary adjustments. Make the necessary, but Woo! praise him again. <laughs> Out again. Give him glory again. It's something because you can't worship and worry at the same time. You Woo! can't praise you pick and a side, don't you? at the same time. That ain't going to happen. Both of them cannot reside in the same place. Either you're going to worry 
or you're going to worship. You're going to praise or you're going to panic. You can't do both at the same time. Try it. Go ahead. Try it. You can't can't do it. They, they are mutually on your mind and then say glory. I promise you that right. problem going to back up as soon as you shout glory. Oh, when you God. begin to say, God, I adore you and worship you, those worries, those things will have to back up. But when Whew. they had done this made the adjustments change. They had to change the position from where they fished before. Because even with the man with the shift. withered hand, Jesus put him in the spot and told him to stand forth. Mm. Get out of that posture and you stand forth. Get out. Because I need everybody wow. to see this. Yeah. <laughs> Yes, you've been sitting here among you on the same level, but I'm having you to rise to another level with your withered hand. And I'm getting ready to give you some adjustments right here in the midst of everybody else. Is that all right, y'all? My God. And when they made the adjustments, what happened? The Bible says, and their net break. Come on now. They got overflow break why first of all jesus told him to to uh cast your nets with an s Mm -hmm. but he only cast one (laughs) so the uh, yeah go back and read he said cast your nets he got one released that one and it Mm. all right so that's another point people you have to do it fully. Mm, full fully obedience. obey. Full obedience. Full obedience. Because when you keep reading, he fell before the Lord and repented and said, I'm sinful because he know he didn't follow through. But he wow. saw the hand of God. That is so good. He that said, release a net, so not just a net. He said, and the Bible said, and their net in E.T. break. And so that's the part that you have to follow all the way through yeah. he honors wow obedience but what i love about the story is they beckon their friends to come and help them you need folk that know even when you're fishing out of season they got you <laughs> even when they know wait a minute we don't fish this time but since i know you and i know you know something i'm That's not it. gonna oh, leave you my god you need people who are going to be ride or die. Come Preach. Preach. You got to have the ride or die people. So when you're at that point, they're going to be there. All right? Yeah. And everybody yeah. want to talk about network. This is the first network we see in the word. Wow. The net. It worked. <laughs> and we see that networking of the other ones coming in to help assist them to get the rest my god wow you need people that's what black women in power black men in power is about it is about creating that net work absolutely so you can have people that's going to give you a word of encouragement i may not ever meet you face to face on the street but we're here visually that we can look into these cameras and give you a word and all you have to do is receive Amen. And I feel the presence. Somebody's getting them getting a, a breakthrough right now. I, 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 I see it. Glory, yes. glory, glory. We have someone here. Listen, we're going to actually begin to, we're going to have to shift to our Spanish audience because I have someone in the comments that they don't speak English well and they, they're on and they're trying to hear it. Absolutely. Trying to wow. Get it. And they said their English is not very clear, but they're hungry for something. My God. Wow. So I'm asking the power of God now to let what yeah. they release that it begins to flow upon them in a way that they can feel what is happening <laughs> in the airway right now. That they do not leave this broadcast frustrated because yes. one way of hearing was hindered, but God has other ways of hearing through the spirit. Amen. Let the spirit now begin to move upon them. In the mighty name of Jesus. My brothers, anybody else want to jump in right here? Then we're going to release it to Bishop Smart to go forward. 
I'm going to hear some good singing. <laughs> yes, yes, I yes, say, yes. I, I, I'll wait, but I, I listen to hear you talking about faith and, and to hear you talking about uh, um, obedience. Mm -hmm. wow. The Lord spoke something to me in, uh, I want to say it was 2018. And he said to me that obedience releases the supernatural Absolutely. in your life. Absolutely. And uh, I, I, when I when I really got the the clarity on it, I got it in Matthew fourteen, where I I homie Peter again. Peter is 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 on the boat with the disciples. Yes, Lord. And uh, they're in a storm. They're on a boat that Jesus put them on, mm -hmm. and sent them out in a storm that Jesus sent them in. Yeah. I'm not going to mess with That's that. That's something else right there. That's something <laughs> else right there. But the part I want to get to <laughs> is the fact that G uh, Jesus comes walking on the water mm -hmm. in the middle of their storm. They don't recognize him. Mm -mm. They thought it was a ghost. Mm -hmm. Jesus has to speak to them. Yes, 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 yes. Because yes. they've never seen him in this fashion. And he had to speak to them so that they would know his voice. Yes. Uh, uh, Peter says to Jesus, if it be you, bid me to come. Jesus says one word, come. Come. Peter has to make the decision. Do I stay in the boat that is familiar or do I obey? My God. Because when I obey him, he said, come. And if I obey him, what I step on has to hold me up. Yeah. Mm. Obedience. We'll it, obedience releases the supernatural yes. in a way that you have the ability to step on what you would normally have to step in. Yes. Wow. The thing that you would have to step in, God gives you authority over it. If you begin to be obedient, I just want you to know. Tonight, the water's going to hold you. Wow. Step out, step out, step out of the boat because the water's going to hold you. Y'all, this out. is so interesting because I had thought about bringing on, asking someone to come on with a testimony that literally had a withered hand for years. Wow. wow. And literally, her hand has been withered, covered for many years. Wow. And I can remember the day she called me and all I heard was... <laughs> wow. Seriously. I love it. It was hand clap. It. And I started screaming and she started screaming and she was like, do you hear me? Wow. And I was like, we got it. We got the miracle. After mm. all these years of having a hand that was withered, literally. Yeah. And I was thinking about her. People of God, we getting ready to go into that place of worship and praise and just, but you need to come on, grab hold of what has been declared and spoken. Amen. The miracles are yours. All right, Bishop, we're releasing it to you. All right. Can y'all hear me good? Yes, sir. I want you to just lift your hands up right now. We've been talking about faith and we've been talking about frustration and all those things. And many of us have uh, tried to do this in our own way. But as a believer, we fight differently. So I just want to lift this in your hearing. And I want you to join in when you get it. I want you to join in with me. It's a simple song. It says, this is how I find my battles. This is how I find my battles. This is how I find my battles. Come on, lift your hands up. 
This is how I fight my battles. Listen, I love this part. It may look like I'm surrounded, but I'm surrounded by you. It may look like I'm surrounded, but I'm surrounded by you. It may look like I'm surrounded, but I'm surrounded by you, Lord. It may look like I'm surrounded, but I'm surrounded by you. Come on, say, this is how I fight my battles. Come on, you got it now. That's it. This is how I fight my battles. Come on, sing it with me. This is how I fight my battles. Yes, Lord. This is how I fight my battles. Come on, believer, just lift your hands up and declare it. <clears throat> it may look like I'm surrounded. I'm surrounded by you. Hey, it may look like I'm surrounded. I'm surrounded by you. It may look like I'm surrounded. I'm surrounded by you. Yeah, it may look like I'm surrounded. I'm surrounded by you. You're going to make it. <laughs> I said, you're going to make it. Hallelujah. Because Jesus is with you. Uh, he'll never leave you. Jesus is with you. He'll never leave you. Oh, this is how we fight our battles. This is how we fight our battles. Yes, Lord. This is how we fight our battles. Somebody needs to lift your hand right now and decree that you're victorious. Victory is in Jesus. The victory is in Jesus. Oh, it's in you we live, you we breathe, and you we move, and have our being. This is how I fight my battle. Hallelujah. This is how I fight my battle. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> Come on, you believe the victory is in Jesus. Come on, can you just lift your hands up and just worship him right there? Yes, Lord. Oh, victory is in Jesus. Who can stand against the Lord? No one can and no one will. Because we are victorious in you. Oh, oh, we love you and oh, we praise you and oh, we lift you. We magnify you. We lift you up. Yes, Lord. We bless your name. Yes. Come on, just lift those hands up and worship. Amen. Amen. We're bringing Pastor Karen back. Glory to God. Just stay right there in that place of worship, if you don't mind, Bishop. 
and everybody right where you are let's begin to bless and let's worship the lord let's worship him let's bless him hallelujah glory to his name let's just magnify the name of the lord right where you are god we give you glory god we give you praise hallelujah 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 God, we give you glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Just be led of the Lord, Bishop Smart. Glory to God. Yes. Hallelujah. So, I hear this. Oh, 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 oh. oh, oh, oh. Victory belongs to Jesus. Victory belongs to him. <laughs> oh, 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 victory belongs to Jesus. It belongs to Him. Victory belongs to Him. Victory belongs. Belongs to him, and we're at him. Victory belongs to him. The victory belongs to him. Oh, Jesus, victory belongs to you. Victory belongs, it belongs to you, it belongs to you, yes Lord, it belongs to you, yes, and we praise you and our hope is in you, our faith is in you, our trust is in you, hallelujah, yes Lord, you know, the old saints used to worship like this. They say, Tis so sweet to trust in Jesus Just to take him at his word Just to rest upon his promise just to know the saying the Lord that chorus says Jesus Jesus how I trust him how I prove him more and oh oh Jesus Jesus Precious Jesus, all for grace, my God, <clears throat> to trust him, <clears throat> I will trust in the Lord, <laughs> I will trust in the Lord, my God, I will trust in the Lord. Come on, anybody gonna trust him until I die? I will trust in. I will trust in the Lord. I see it. Until I, until I die. Come on. They said, I'm going to stay on 
the battlefield. Yes, Lord. I'm going to stay on the battlefield. Oh, I'm, I'm going to stay on the battlefield. Are you going to do it? Until I die, I, I'm going to stay on, I'm going to stay on the battlefield, I'm going to stay on the battlefield, I'm going to stay on. Hallelujah. The battlefield. That means I still have a yes. Until I die. Come on. And the church said yes. Come on. Just right where you are. Lift your hand. Yes. We say yes. Oh, my, my. It's still yes, even when I don't understand, I still say yes, even if it's facts, failure, frustration, I still have faith to say yes, yes. I'll tell the Lord yes. Hallelujah. 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 Yes, yes. Wow. Ooh, Jesus. Mm -hmm. mm, 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 mm. My God. <laughs> my Lord, my Lord. I, I can see the comments that everyone is feeling that. Even in and through it all, there's still a yes. And it's mm -hmm. something about the praises of God. Lord God. It brings about comfort yes. to us all. Hallelujah. Yes. So I, 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 listen, I understand the older I get, why they will sit there and rock and sing those songs. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Oh, they will rock and they will think about him and Ooh. they will sing glory to his name. And oh, they yeah. will, as I said last night, they will continue to repeat that phrase over oh, yeah. <laughs> and over and over again. Yeah. Until the church caught on fire. Yeah. Until a yeah. soul caught on fire. That's what Amen. they say. They used to sing that. I wish somebody here would catch on fire. Catch on fire. Fire with of the Holy Ghost. Come on. Lord have mercy. And I, I believe who was it? James Moore. Was it, was it James? He came up with the song, you know, um, he's fire all by himself. Oh, God don't need no matches. God don't need no matches. <laughs> James Moore, the late Reverend James, James Moore, Moore. The late James Moore because he's fire all by himself. <laughs> you know, and these are the songs. These are songs that would take you through. All that. That's right, Tracy. Somebody put with no music. They yep. would just strike out and sing. See, that's what devotional service used to be about. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They had the devotional leader. And they would get up and say, we're going to have popcorn testimony. Yes, yes. sir. <laughs> and you would pop up and you would tell a testimony or you you would sing that song. Somebody would holler, oh, have you tried Jesus? Oh, and then yes. somebody on the other side would say, he's all right. Come on here. That's what they would do. They would, <laughs> they, they would holler and they say, have you tried him? And the call and response was, he's all right. He's all right. He's all oh, right. Yeah. He's he, all right. He is all wow. Wow, wow, wow. I grew up in the old church and it does something to me, the older yeah. I get, that I love that is something for the soul. Oh, yes. yes, Lord. I miss those times. Sometimes we, we need to just pull it out every now and then. And mm -hmm. I believe that's something that we're going to be doing in the future with Black Women in Power, that we're going to create some just good old praise and worship. Just Amen. a song that come from the soul. 
pull up those old songs and 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 introduce it to another generation. Absolutely. That don't that don't understand and those that don't know. Mm -hmm. So I, I'm going to stop talking because I'm telling you, somebody say, sing it. I'm not the singer for the night. Y'all catch me on another night. Tonight's not my night. <laughs> I'm going to talk the words tonight. Tonight's not my night to sing. Oh, my Lord. Well, she, she can, y'all. She can sing. I, I, I do a little bit. I, I, I do a little bit. I know how to pull them out. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Mm -hmm. Well, can you do this one song? I, I know I'm putting you on the spot. Oh God. But just this one song, just the, the phrase of that. Um, nobody told me that the road would be uh. easy. Uh. <laughs> and I don't think you brought us this far. <laughs> nobody told me. That's it. Road would be easy. Don't believe he brought me this far to leave me. Somebody need to grab it tonight. Come on. I just can't give up now. Come too far from where I started from nobody told me that the road would be easy oh i don't believe he brought me this far to leave me <laughs> hallelujah Woo! yes somebody needs to hear it come on yeah, oh, yeah. jesus Nobody told me that the road would be easy. I want to say that again. Yes. Nobody told me that the road would be easy. Last year, I lost my grandmother and my mother three weeks apart. Nobody told me. That the road would be easy. I didn't think I would ever be able to sing. Didn't think I would have the strength to preach or do anything. Ooh. Ooh, but I had to realize I don't believe <laughs> he's brought me this far to leave me. <laughs> ah, he ain't gonna leave. <laughs> Never gonna leave me. He ain't Come gonna on, leave me. <laughs> Not gonna leave me. Never. Woo, Jesus. My God. My God. My God. He won't leave. I understand. Because I buried my parents three months apart. Yes. We're all, all of us on this panel tonight can really testify to losing a, a parent, losing a parent, and uh, the, the strength of God. In Absolutely. the midst of all of this, uh, it's undeniable. 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 And uh, we are testimonies that if God can bring us this far, yes, please know mm -hmm. that He is going to keep you as well. Absolutely. Absolutely. Wow. That is why we talk about Him. That is why we share the word of the Lord with you. That is why we are excited about the word. Because I've learned through that process, it was the word that kept me. Mm -hmm. And I can remember the old saints testified. They said, it's going to take the word to save you. And it's going to take the word to keep you. Yes. And they would declare that. And the older I get, I can attest. That it was the word that saved me. Thank you, and it's Jesus. The word that's keeping me. Praise be to Absolutely. God. I, I I have uh can can I sing this song for there's some yes. people on here that needs healing. I'm not gonna sing the whole song, but I just there's a phrase Bless. that I wanna I wanna give to all of those that need healing yes. in your bodies and those yes. that have family members that need healing in your body. I wanna say this for you. 
This is the Lord speaking to you. Yes. I am the Lord. That's the Lord. That healeth thee. I am the Lord, your healer. Yes, 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 yes. I send my word to heal your disease. I am the Lord, your healer. One more time. Yes, yes. I am the Lord that healeth thee. I am the Lord, your healer. I send my word. And I healed your disease is already done. I am the Lord, your healer. I am the Lord, your healer. Hallelujah. I am. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's one of the songs. That's one of the songs that I can remember. And I have a witness on here, Evangelist Conley. We prayed for a lady that had rheumatoid arthritis, crippling rheumatoid arthritis that was in a wheelchair that could not move. And I was taken to the house and they wanted me to pray for her. And as I sat there, the Lord said, and the song, the very song, Wow. I began to sing in the house asking for direction and how to pray for this woman. And I'm getting ready to say something because Bishop Smart brought it up and some of you need to hear this. And this is what the Lord said to me that day. He said, don't pray. This is for her situation. He said, don't pray for her healing. Mm. He said, tell her body to get the news. My God, my God. That I've already done the work. My God. I <laughs> Evangelist Conley is on here tonight. I see her. And Lord gave us instruction and in how, what to say. And that's all I said. Bishop Whitaker, Bishop Smart st stood behind her in that wheelchair with her hands closed shut. She could not. And I said, What do you want? She said, I want to use my hands again. Mm. And in that house, God opened both of her hands. Glory to God. Glory. Glory to God. The body Hallelujah. got the news. Glory to God. And she was able to move her upper body. We heard bones cracking and snapping and popping in her house where they had rolled her in the living, the dining room. And God gave her her miracle. When you sang that song, it brought it back to me. That's the My word God. of the Lord. My goodness. He is your healer. Amen. She said, Evangelist Conley said, I'm a witness. She was there. Amen. Well, wow. Bishop Whitaker, you have anything after I'm done? We've been here. We've got yeah. this. Oh, I'm, Lord, I feel I'm the just power. full. Um, oh, Jesus. You know, when we, when, you know, and I love contemporary music and contemporary gospel. I, I mean, I really do. Um, but it's something about those old songs of Zion that take you to a place. Yes, sir. Um, that that it, you know it, it's so refreshing mm -hmm. um, to hear. And, and you know, I, I tell people all the time. You know, growing up in church, I can't remember a Sunday where there was a dead service. Like I, I, I don't. Mm -hmm. rem the presence of the Lord was always there. They, they always. Uh, with those old songs would invoke his presence yes. and, and and it would just always be amazing and so when I when I hear those songs you know uh, it just takes me to a place it fills me up it fills my cup my cup running yes. over right now um, I, I, I get emotional I just because I mean you just start to think about the goodness of the Lord and you start to yes. reflect on you know, where where you've been, what you've been through and where you are now and, and where you're going. 
Amen. Jesus Christ, yes, the sir. same yesterday, today, and forever. And forever. You know, he, he reaches in our past and he heals our past and he, he, he prepares us, amen, for our present and he launches us into our future. And, and so I'm, I'm just, I'm just overwhelmed right now. Uh, I don't have a whole lot to say. I, I've I been blessed either. tonight. I, Amen. I, I have been extremely blessed, but, but I do before we, uh, I want to ask everybody that's on here one more time, if you don't mind to share this video, uh, one more time as we prepare, uh, to sow seeds of faith, amen, to sow seeds, amen, into this ministry again. Uh, the reason that we are gathering, amen, for these three nights, uh, we would that it would be live and in person, but right now we're virtual, but look for us on next year, amen, to do something, amen, look for us to do something in person on next year, but we're here to celebrate 10 years, amen, of, of this great ministry, and again, we celebrate our founder and our CEO, Amen. Dr. Jacqueline King, we thank God for her. We thank God for her ministry. All of us are grateful. Uh, you know, I, I thank God for this ministry because it has allowed me to connect, amen, with other great prophetic amen. voices amen. in the kingdom. You know, it, it's, it's good to just know good people. Amen. amen. And so I, I thank God just for the connection to be able to sit here uh, with you guys and, and to, 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 to flow, amen, prophetically and to impact lives, amen, it's, it's a wonderful thing. And so, you know, Dr. King is responsible for that. We're here together because yes. of the calling and the assignment that's on her life. And so we thank God for that. And so uh, we're getting ready, we're getting ready to sow, amen. Yes. We're getting ready to sow, amen, into this ministry. Amen. And and listen, we want to make sure. And let me say this. Sometimes sowing is a sacrifice. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Amen. Sometimes giving, amen, pulls you out of your place of comfort. Amen. And, and, and I tell people all the time, sometimes you don't know it's a sacrifice until it starts talking back to you. Amen. <laughs> the Bible, you know, the Bible said that 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 uh, Abraham took it, took his son, Isaac up to a mountain to offer of God a burnt sacrifice. Amen. And I don't want to go into all of that and what, what kind of faith it took for him to do a burnt sacrifice. Uh, but he was going to offer of God a burnt sacrificial offering. And the Bible says on the way up the mountain, uh, the, boy, the boy realized that they had all of the things that they needed for the sacrifice, but they didn't have the sacrifice. <laughs> And he Absolutely. didn't realize that he was a sacrifice. And the Bible said, he asked him, hey, listen, where is the <laughs> sacrifice? You know, and so I tell people sometimes when you're giving, amen, you know that it's 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 the devil trying to talk you out of sowing seed. He's amen. trying to he's trying to whisper in your ear and tell you how you should not plant and how you should not sow. Amen. And so you got to be cognizant of the spirit. And make sure that you're trusting in the Lord with all your heart and leaning not to your own understanding. And so right now, I know that we have uh, LinkedIn. Um, those of you who are on LinkedIn, we're not neglecting you. We thank God for all of you. Amen. Uh, those who are on Twitter. Amen. We thank God for all of you. Amen. And those who will view this later, um, this, we see that we have the cash app up there. The dollar sign, uh, black, W-M-N-E-M-P-I-N-C. Amen. We want everybody who will trust God. We got what? Uh, probably between the pages. How many people we got? I can't see it. I know we got 35 or 40 on here. Mm -hmm. How many do we have on LinkedIn? I am not sure. Hold on. You're not sure? Okay. Well, if we can get about 25 people, amen, if we can get about 25 people to trust God with a $25 we, we, seat. We have 25 on LinkedIn. 25 on LinkedIn? Well, hey, mm -hmm. that sounds good. Amen. Mm -hmm. So if we can get between these three platforms, are, we are on Twitter as well, Bishop? No, right now we're just LinkedIn and Facebook. It'll be just on Twitter later. Facebook, Pastor? Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, great, great. 
okay, for our Twitter family as well, uh, who will see this, amen, at a later hour. Listen, if we can get about 25 people to sow a $25 seed, that's how we're going to start it off tonight, amen. And we want you to let us know, amen, that you're sowing, amen. Again, amen, you, sometimes your seed is a sacrifice, amen, but you're sowing into good ground, amen. There are, there are great endeavors that, that BWE um, is, is looking to, to accomplish in, in the very near future and even some long-term goals. Uh, but listen, you, amen, will have seed in the ground, amen, and what you make happen for others, God will certainly make happen for you. Be not deceived, amen. God is not mocked whatsoever a man sows. I believe mm -hmm. that with all my heart, that shall he also reap, amen. Absolutely. And so listen, we want you to begin to plant your seed in the ground, amen, and let us know that you're sowing, amen. You can also yes. go to blackwomenempowered.org. Amen. And there you will find PayPal uh, information as well. Amen. And you can sow your seed. This is our 10 year anniversary, y'all. This is our 10 year anniversary. Amen. And we, we, we are here. Amen. To celebrate. Amen. To raise finances for the vision. Amen. Because listen, vision is a necessity in everybody's life. The Bible amen. says where there is no vision, people do what? They perish. Right. Amen. amen. They wither away. <clears throat> they fade. They lose heart. They lose hope. Amen. And so what that word, what that word vision means, where there's no progressive revelation. Mm -hmm. Amen. And so listen, listen, right here, right now, amen, via, amen, this platform, we want you to plant your seed, amen, in the ground. And let us know, amen, that you're sowing. God bless you. God bless you. Amen. Yes, God bless they're, you. they're sowing. They're sowing. Amen. Yes, Sister Femisha they wants to know sowing. the cash app. It is right there on that purple line. Just look right there. It is Black Women M uh, Black Women E M P I N C. That is B L A C K W M N E M P I N C. That's how you can and say Jackie that. Coleman. We're going to the email address where you can send that seed and, and do PayPal is blackwomenempowered.org. Because she doesn't, yeah, you can do she it there. Thank you. That's one of our LinkedIn partners that's viewing Amen. in. And we thank you. We thank wow. you. We thank you. Those that are coming in. Um, and we have a lot of people that done as the old church would say while you're giving we're going to have some it's the smarts going to come and song <laughs> during this time of giving again put done put a check mark let us know that you have sold all right i'm sewing as well my check mark is on the screen i believe in this God i'm sewing as well Amen. All right. Just keep sowing. Uh, as I sing, I want to um, dedicate the song to our president and CEO, Dr. Jacqueline King. Uh, it's an old song. I've had some good days. <clears throat> I've had some hills to climb I've had some weary days And some lonely nights But when I look around And I think things over All of my good days Outweigh my bad days I, I, I won't complain Sometimes the clouds hang low I can hardly see the road. Keep sowing. Thank you for sowing. I asked the question, Lord. Lord, 
heart. Why so much pain? But he he knows what's best for me. Although my weary eyes they can't see, so I'll, I'll just say thank you, Lord. I I won't complain. God has been good to me. He's been good to me more than this whole world you could ever be. He's been so good to me. He dried all of my tears away. Turned my midnights into day. Come on. So I'll, I'll, I'll just say thank you, Lord. I, I, I won't complain. God has been so good to me. He's been good to me. More than this whole world. Oh, you could ever be. He's been so good. Been so good, so good, so good to me. He drives all of my tears away. Turn my midnights into day. So I. Say thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. In the midst of pain, I'll say thank you, Lord. In the midst of struggles, I learned how to lift my hands and say thank you, Lord. I will bless the Lord at all times. And his praise shall continually be in my mouth. Thank you, Lord. And I won't, I I, I won't complain. <laughs> wow. Woo. It's, it's unfair. Stuff. But me and God, me and God will talk about that when I get to heaven. <laughs> oh what man. a gift, man. What a gift. Oh my God. It is um wow wow now pastor Jones. now tomorrow is the last night now if you want to go ahead and pull a song out now i can't sing listen Y'all put me on the ballot <laughs> you might as well go and put your name in the hat and go ahead on and bless us tomorrow we voted. You might as well. we voted. <laughs> we've all listen listen we've already uh voted we voted Votes are in. the verdict is you shall sing <laughs> And bless us Amen. on tomorrow. If if y'all if y'all want to hear Pastor Karen sing, just put it in in the comments. Sing, Pastor come Karen. On, come on, Bishop. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Don't it. do that to me. That's it. <laughs> Don't do that to me. Put it in the comment section. I am sing. hosting. I am pushing forth. I pray Pastor Corey be back <laughs> tomorrow. Put him. Put my son up. Let him sing tomorrow. Uh -huh. Okay, if he's back, he's definitely a gift to the body. I would love yes, to hear him. Yes, he is. I would yes, love yes, to hear might. him. My God, I know, I know. I might have to pull Coco back in tomorrow and say, "Okay, bring you oh, back wow. in and close it out." That would be and great. Close. Yeah, That'd to come beautiful. back um, again and yeah. just flow with it. You know, that'd be beautiful. Amen. That would be great. Amen. Amen. The people have sown tonight. We thank each and every one of you. I'm telling you, I promise you, you're going to get a return. 
Oh, you're going yeah. to get a return. I it believe is. it. It's, you're going to get a return. Many of you are going to sleep better than you've slept. You're going to hear these songs just ringing in your head and in your heart and the words that have been spoken, little nuggets that you've heard tonight is going to take you through the night. Amen. So Amen. I am, I'm, I'm going to get out of here because I'm full too and I'm just full. thinking on some things and grateful to the Lord. But I don't, I want to make sure everybody get the opportunity to sow. We thank God for those that are sowing on LinkedIn and those that are sowing now on Facebook and those that were so later. We thank you so very much. Well, my yeah. brethren, um, anything else that you have tonight, this is your opportunity yeah. to. I, I've to said say enough. <laughs> I have too. <laughs> I have. But it's always good to be able to come together. Amen. It Amen. was not wasted. This was, let me tell you, there's a return from this night. Amen. So again, Amen. we celebrate our founder. Thank you, Dr. King. She's been on as well, commenting and so forth. Well, y'all, we got one more night. I know people are busy with Friday night football and people with kids and things and so forth. But tomorrow night, most of us are preparing for our Sunday services. But we're going to come on here for a moment. And we're going Amen. to see the conclusion, hear the conclusion of this matter. All right. Amen. We're going to hear the Amen. conclusion of it. And um, it's going to be a good time. All right. So y'all be with us again. Thank you, Bishop Whitaker. Thank you, uh, Bishop uh, Smart. My pleasure. And look at uh, Coco. Stop that time I sing. Yeah, you sing tomorrow. Okay? <laughs> 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 you sing. <laughs> You're not going to be in Georgia tomorrow, are you? Because we'll head to Whitaker's or Smart's church. So she's in this area a lot. Amen. She's in this area a lot. She's always in Villa Rica. And you know Villa Rica is just right around the corner. So Right around the corner. From yeah. y'all. From us. Uh, <laughs> well, it's not right, far right. from Fayetteville. Fayetteville's just right. <laughs> straight shot. Straight oh, shot. praise God. Amen. Amen. <laughs> All right. Well, it's been fun. It's been a blessing. All minds clear. Amen. Yes, ma'am. Y'all be blessed. See us again on tomorrow right. evening. Peace out, y'all. Have a good night. Good night, everybody. Good night, everybody. <laughs>